Hello everybody, welcome to the Graveyard Traveler. Today I'm in Green Lawn Cemetery here in Milford, Ohio. Let's get this tour started. See what we can find. Timothy Mark Leggett, May 11th, 1958 to March 24th, 2019. Police officer. This on the back. Alright, rest in peace to Officer Timothy Ligert. Rest in peace. Charles S. Hoffman, U.S. Marine Corps, World War II vet, August 14, 1926 to January 17, 2000. Well, I have a flag for him. And might as well put a duel. So rest in peace to. Marine Charles R. Hoffman, Zipper Five. Richard Frank Boss, Corporal, U.S. Marine Corps, Vietnam, May 2nd, 1945 to March 5th, 2019. Huh. 2019. Oh. 2019, my guess is that's probably his wife. Oh. Got a flag to him. There's a bunch of them here, so I'm gonna add mine to it. And I gave him a jewel. And I would say simplify to Corporal Ball. Surprise and rest in peace. Michael J. Sullivan, he says a USMC veteran. Born August 28, 1938, to October 20, 20. I'll put a flag on here for him. And so rest in peace to USMC veteran Michael J. Sullivan. So supervisor. Marion G. Haig Preston. November 7th. 1918 to March 15, 2005. On the back, it says back here on our back of our headstone, this soul's life on earth has ended for me. My ashes within reflects a new beginning. For now, I join loved ones long departed, greeted at heaven's gate with a smile I see. For loved ones I leave, please do not weep. Rejoice with me knowing Christ's embrace. His loving arms will gently carry you home. As he softly wakens you from my silent sleep, Michael J. So, we'll do on that. So rest in peace to Marion. Rest in peace, Richard H. Sprague, Staff Sergeant, U.S. Marine Corps, World War II, November 9th, 1924 to March 22nd, 2005. Still him a flag. And gave him a gem. Rest in peace to Staff Sergeant Spag. Rest in peace and Semper Fi. Henry Michael Vanover, 1972 to 2000. Loving memory. His name was Mickey. Good hey, brother. All right, I want to leave a jewel for him, a gem. I'll say rest in peace to Henry. Or Mickey. Rest in peace, buddy. All right. The Jones's headstone. Guess what? Robert E. Jones. Robert E. Jones. Well, let's start with the son. Robert E. Jones, Corporal U.S. Marine Corps in Vietnam. August 4, 1946 to July 19, 2019. Bronze Star Medal with Valor and Purple Heart. To his right or left. Robert E. Jones, Corporal U.S. Marine Corps, World War II, January 29, 1921 to November 15, 1993. Hut of Father and Son. Well, I got two flags. I got one for Jones Jr. and Corporal Jones Sr. I also have a gym for both here. I will say rest in peace to both Corporals Jones Jr. and Jones Sr. 
Super fly the both of you. And rest in peace. I oh, found another Marine, Sergeant Stanley L. Ringstaff. So, Korea's vet, May 19th, 1934 to November 27th, 2012. Now, still him a flag. And he gets a gym too. The rest of peace and simplify the Sergeant Rain staff. Rest in peace. We love daughter, sister, mother, and grandma Patricia Lynn Cox. January 25th, 1975, September 23rd, 2020. Picture. I believe it's pulling the back of her head going. I never left you. I watch you every day, I'm always very near. I know deep in your heart, you realize I am here. I watch you while you sleep, in your bed at home. I hear you when you speak to me when you are on your own. You cannot understand the reason why I have gone, but I will never leave you, and I am there to keep you strong. Talk to me and I hear you, though you may not see. We share an unbroken bond that will always be. Death won't keep us apart, for our love is forever. Just remember me in your heart. And one day we will be together. Live your life and live it full. Don't waste a single day. Remember, I am always with you every step of the way. All right, that will be Jim for her. So rest in peace to Patricia. Rest in peace. Vanessa Jean Buis. September 2nd, 1982 to September 4th, 2015. She had the poem on the back. It reads, To live in the hearts we leave behind is to live forever in loving memory. I rest in peace to Vanessa. And the gem on. Rest in peace. Dorothea Ann Lawson, August 3rd, 1934 to January 4th, 2019. Forever in our hearts. Picture. I'm in the back of her head, so. Okay, rest in peace to Dorothea Ann. And I'll put a gem on it. Pistol. Rest in peace. Chester S. Malone Jr., Lance Corporal, U.S. Marine Corps, July 4th, 1941 to May 24th, 1974. And his wife, loving mother, Janice A. Gillari. And just right up here is a picture. You know, that's a 70s picture, right? Well, I have a flag and I'm also going to put a gym up here for him. And then back here, I'll put the flag. Put it right here. I say rest in peace to Lance Corporal Malone Jr. Super Five and rest in peace. Zavison, Lewis and George. Lois born February 2nd, 1917 to August 27th, 1993. Her husband June 27th, 1914. Dog October 25th, 1997. Picture on them. And I want to leave the gym for them. The rest in peace to Lois and George Zapson. Rest in peace. Loving daughter, sister, aunt, Natalie G. Bailey. May 15th, 1966 to September 16th, 2020. I don't know that, so I'll put a little gym up here. Okay. So rest in peace to Natalie. Rest in peace. James Floyd Wilderham, Widerhound, the rock farmer. July 17, 1928 to June 5th, 2018. And they weren't lying, he was a rock farmer. And rest in peace to James Floyd or the rock farmer. Rest in peace. Michael James Herman II, a son, a brother, a husband, a father, and friend. This picture in the test on. So February 14, 1968, passed away May 18, 1992. We love you. Oh, the big guitar. Let me guess. He loved music. Especially the guitar. All right, I'm gonna put this on top. 
just above his picture. And I'll say rest in peace to Michael James Herman II and keep playing, man. Keep playing. Gabe Barber, February 1st, 1967 to March 20th, 1995. Number 17. It's been a quarterback. The Bryce Flame burns quickest. Come back with this one. Oh, I'm free. Do not burden me with time of sorrow. I wish you the sunshine of tomorrow. My life's been full. I savor much. Good friends, good times, a loved one's touch. If my parting has left a void, then fill it with remembered joy. Friendship shared, a laugh, a kiss. Uh, yes, these things I will miss. Don't grieve me, for now I'm free. That poem never gets old. I rest in peace to Gabe number 17. Rest in peace. Patrick L. Ritchie, March 23rd, 1968, February 13th, 1990. All right, let's put a gem up here for him. Rest in peace to Patrick. Rest in peace. Stephen Claudeth Brewer, the Lord watch between me and thee while we are absent from each other. Steve born March 8th, 1924, October 13th, 2002. Cleveland, April 28th, 1922, March 27, 2001. So I'll leave the gems both of them. And I'll say rest in peace to Steve and Claudius Brewer. Rest in peace. Uh, Richard E. Troop. Uh, U.S. Marine Corps, World War II. May 24th, 1926 to... Like December 18th, 1986. Oh, I have a flag. And also, so rest in peace to Marine Richard E. Troop. Rest in peace and Semper Fi. Campbell Herschel Jr. February 7, 1970 to January 22nd, 1998. Space uh, and walleye, catfish and trout. I'm telling you now, you better look out. You were safe in the lakes while I was home fishing. Wishing. But be on your guard, because I'm going fishing. Recipes to Herschel Campbell Jr. Rest in peace. Naomi May Scarberry, August 26th, 1935 to August 14th, 2021. Loving mother, grandmother. I'm go back. Now rest in peace to Naomi May. Rest in peace. Smith. On they and Shirley. On they born November 28, 1935. Passed away October 9, 2007. They called him Smitty. It's like Shirley, March 26, 1933 to July 20, 2020. Nice picture. The eagle flying over the mountains or valley. On the back. Picture of them. And it's from their children, John, Daniel, Gary, Thomas, Kathleen. Their children, Jessica, Jacob, Jillian for John, Stephanie, Garrett for Daniel, Gary Allen, Melody for Gary, Thomas, Stephen, Caleb, and Trenton, Kathleen, Serena, and Christian. And one more thing, forever and ever, and longer than that. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Andre and Shirley Smith. Rest in peace. Kelsey Renee Paterno. January 6th, 1992 to September 27th, 2009. On the back is Kelsey. Those who have held in our arms for a little while, we will hold in our hearts forever. And on top of her head, some little frog, so I'm going to add a gem to it. And I'll say rest in peace to Kelsey Renee. 
Rest in peace. T.J. Bradford II, October 2nd, 1999. Uh, I'm guessing his first name is Troy. I'll put a little gem right here. I'll say rest in peace to T.J. Bradford II. Rest in peace. William and Selma Martin. William born November 25th, 1922 to March 13th, 1987. Thelma was born April 9th, 1926 to April 30th, 1987. Uh, born, both married April 4th, 1945. And I'm gonna leave the gym for them. And I'll say rest in peace to both William and Thelma Martin. Rest in peace. Rick Hall, September 14, 1953 to June 11, 2012. Reds fan, I guess. Alright. On the back of his headstone, one night I dreamed I was walking along the beach with the Lord. Many scenes from my life flashed across the sky. In each scene, I noticed footprints. In the sand, sometimes there were two sets of footprints. Other times, there were one set of footprints. Why, when I had needed you most, you have not been there? The Lord replied, The times when you haven't seen one set of footprints is when I carried you. Still another poem that never gets old. I'm going to put a gem on top. And I'll say, Rest in peace to Rick Hall. Rest in peace. Uh, Raymond and Roberta Richmond. Raymond was born August 1st, 1931. He passed away April 5th, 1990. His wife, Roberta Jean, June 24, 1945 to March 13th, 2017. Here's Roman again. So I wish you were here. I'm on the back. Oh. So until we meet again, those special memories of you will always bring me a smile. If only I could have you back just for a little while, then we could sit and talk again just like we used to do. You always meant so very much and always will do you too. The fact that you're no longer here will always cause me pain, but when but you're forever in my heart until we meet again. Says Tammy. Well, I'm gonna leave a leave a gym for Wesley and Roberta Richmond. Say rest in peace, Raymond and Roberta. Rest in peace. Gone from home, but not our hearts. Travis S. Stamper. May 28th, 1974 to May 15th, 2001. Loving father, Alexis and Al Holly. Loving son and brother. Oh, there's something back there. Oh, in God's care. The tears could build a stairway and memories of lane. We walk right to heaven and bring you home again. Alright, rest in peace to Travis. Rest in peace. Mary Hazel Hill. May 19th, 1927 to July 21st, 2017. Loving mother and grandmother. Picture. That is going to blank. Put a gem up here. And I'll say rest in peace to Mary Hazel. Rest in peace. Kyle A. Bissinger. Beloved, April 7th, 1986 to March 27th, 2008. Loving son, brother, father, and friend. And a siren going off. Oh, I'm back. Put a gem up here. And I'll say rest in peace to Kyle. Rest in peace. Judy Lynn Lynch Smith, August 12th, 1963 to January 1st, 1994. She was a beloved mother and daughter, beloved sister and friend. Picture her. She was back of her head, though. Nope. Well, I'll leave with Jim for her. I'll say rest in peace to Judy Lynn Lynch. Rest in peace. Redneck Mermaid, daughter Katrina Ann Snow, April 9, 1984 to August, October 29, 2017. And 
over here is a mermaid with some Disney stuff. It said, He heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds. They will soar on the wings like eagles, like run and not grow weary. No. Rest in peace to the redneck mermaid, Katrina. And before I go, good gem on top of her head. Rest in peace to the redneck mermaid, Katrina. Rest in peace. Anna Ora Davenport, June 20th, 1980 to July 18, 2001. Daughter, sister, and a friend. Look at the shape of the headstone. It's like a half quarter moon or something. Yeah. Rest in peace to Anna Ora. Rest in peace. Robert E. Crawford, PFC U.S. Marine Corps, Korea. Born on October 19th, 1936. Passed away June 27, 2005. I got a flag for him. Right here. And I'm also going to give him a gem. So rest in peace, December 5, to PFC Crawford. Rest in peace. Jessica Don Parton. August 6th, 1985 to January 10th, 2011. Mother, daughter, and sister. Oh, there's a poem back here. But God, he only takes the best. Jessica. God saw she was happiest and someone will not let that be. So he put his arms around her and whispered, come with me. With tear-filled eyes, we watched them suffer and fade away. Although... We love them deeply. We could not make them stay. A golden heart stopped beating. Hard working hands put to rest. God broke our heart to prove us to us. He only takes the best. Author is on. So I'm gonna put a gem up here to Jessica. And I'll say rest in peace. Rest in peace. Angels are among us. Balls. Buke and buke. For whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amber Francis Balls, born November 16, 1977, died at 17 years and 3 months. Safely home. Albert Francis, November 21st, 1913, August 30, 2005. 91 years and 9 months and 9 days. Hannah Veronica. August 29, 1917 to September 6, 2007. Rest in peace to Albert and Anna Book and Amber, little Amber Francis Fox. Rest in peace. Uh, beloved son, Albert Robert Shanky. Well, sorry to see this. I don't know what day he passed away, so. Whatever that day was, rest in peace, little Stephen. Rest in peace. Our loving son and brother, John Daniel Spiegel, 5'4'11 to 8611. Our little John man. Oh, man. Rest in peace, little John Daniel. Rest in peace. Katie Marie Barker. March 17, 1982 to October 27, 2007. My heart belongs to Haiti. Wow, I say it does. That must be Haiti. Come back. Oh. Katie's life verse. Don't you realize that in a race, everyone wins? But only one person gets the prize, so run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training, they do it. To win a prize that will fade away, but will do it for the internal prize. I don't know about you, but I'm running hard for the finish line. I'm giving it everything I've got. 1 Corinthians 9.24 yeah. oh, Rest in peace to Katie Marie. Rest in peace. My beloved son, Paul Roger Wilson Jr. Rogie. July 13, 1974 to January 26, 1999. Picture of this headstone. Picture of him. There, something on the back. 
that I have gone to heaven to be with Jesus and with the angels I will sing. Remember, I will always be the wind beneath your wings. <laughs> and I'll pull a gem of proof for him. And it falls down. Put it right here. Alright, rest in peace to Paul Roger. Rest in peace. Gary Lawrence and Mark David Nugent. Let's start with Gary. Born May 25th, 1957, passed away August 17, 2002. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through the, our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's take that. And over here, his brother, Mark David. Born July 25th, 1954, passed away November 8th, 2011. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Pick that up. Put that back. Oh, thanks. Hey, I'm going to put a gem on top of Gary's and David's, or Mark's. So rest in peace to both Gary and Mark Nugent. Rest in peace. Forever in our hearts, Paulette A. Gordon, April 16, 1955 to February 28, 2021. Nope. I'll put this gem up here for her. And I'll say rest in peace to Paulette. Rest in peace. Georgie Alexandra Hesser, July 18, 1996 to April 8, 2006. Beloved daughter of George and Patricia and sister of Jeremy and Megan. Hey, girl. You want back to this thing? No. And I'll put this up here. And I'll say rest in peace to Georgie Alexandria. Rest in peace. James Earl Lafayette. March 18, 1982 to March 29, 2006. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Magic. Put this up here. I'll say rest in peace to James. Rest in peace. Nick or Nicholas A. Miller, born July 23rd, 1987, passed away November 15, 2017. Mom and dad and brother are still here, so I'm gonna head around the back with a little poem. It says, Your life is a blessing, your memory a treasure, you are loved beyond words and missed beyond play measure. Oh. Rest in peace to Nick. Oh, yeah, let me put the gym up there. Rest in peace to Nick. Rest in peace. Kevin Lee Winsby, July 23rd, 1988 to April 20th, 2011. You left us too soon. Too true. There's a little arrow in there. Well, rest in peace to Kevin. Rest in peace. Ronald Eugene Sheets, senior. It's August 6th, 1932 to June 2nd, 2004. Rest in peace and look at that. That's a nice bike this up here rest in peace to Ronald rest in peace uh, Corey J. Nichol <laughs> yeah. born June 4, 2004 passed away on May 2009 courage for Corey so Corey, beloved son of Jim and Deborah and the youngest member of the Milford Community Fire Department bravely and courageously fought Neuroblastoma, a childhood cancer for 838 of his 1799 precious days of life. Corey never met a stranger and always had a way to put a smile on your face. Godspeed, son, until we are all together again in heaven, we love you too. The moon and back ten times. Dad will miss you so much more. Love mommy and daddy. Support childhood cancer. Wear the gold ribbon with pride and memory of Corey and all the young angels who have earned their wings. Oh, wow, look on the back of the pistol. Yeah. The hope has wings and perches in the soul. It sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. There goes cancer. Neural stop. Neural blastoma. Say rest in peace to Corey and I. My condolences to his mom and dad and his family. I'm gonna put a gem right here. 
Okay, rest in peace, Corey. Rest in peace. Oh, the horse of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Roger H. and Kisum. Roger born January 3rd, 1933. He passed away January 11th, 2017. And Kissam born 7th, September 11th, 1948. Boy. Passed away July 8th, 2011. Nice horse on this side. It's a reef with just says cox on it. I'll put a gem up here. And I'll say rest in peace to Roger and Kisan. Rest in peace. Gregory Donald Ward, January 16th, 1987 to December 15th, 2010. Wow. Okay. It's a big poem. Head down south to the land of the pines, and I'm thumbing my way into North Carolina. Sharing up the road, pray to God I see headlights. I made it down the coast of 17 hours picking up a bouquet of dogwood flowers. And I'm hoping for Raleigh I can see my baby tonight. So rock me mama like a wagon wheel. Rock me mama any way you feel. Hey mama, rock me, rock me mama like the wind and the rain. Rock me mama like a southbound train. Hey mama, rock me. Running from the cold up in New England, it was born to be a filler on the old times string band. My baby plays the guitar, I picked my banjo now. Oh, the North Country winners keep a coming, keep, keep getting me now. Lost my money playing poker, so I had to up and leave. But I ain't be turning back into living that old life no more. So rob me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rob me any way you feel. Rock me around my train. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey, mama, rock me. So I'll say rest in peace to Gregory Donald. And I'm going to leave it Jim for him. Rest in peace, Greg. And keep rocking. Rest in peace. April Lynn Wall Walls. June 27, 1969 to October 2nd, 1996. Love daughter and mother. There it is. That point. Well, I'll put this up here. And I'll say rest in peace to April Lynn. Rest in peace. Beloved mother and grandmother, Ganell C. Howard, October 10th, 1932 to June 8th, 2021. Devoted canine companion, Lucky Lou. December 24th, 1970 to January 24th, 1986. I'm guessing her little dog might be buried with her. That'd be cool if it was. If he was. Alright. Rest in peace to Gano and Lucky Lou. Rest in peace. Wayne Muller. August 13th, 1951 to March 14th, 2018. No love is more patient than a mother's love. Now rest in peace to Leanne. Rest in peace. PFC, Earl Raymond Payne. Korea. Born July 8th, 1931. Passed away on August 22nd, 2004. To come back. Oh, it's got a letter. And it's a devoted father of Mike, John, Bob, and Melody. And he doesn't realize it. So I have a flag for him. I'm going to put it right here. And up here, I'll put a gem. Rest in peace to PFC Earl Raymond Payne and Semper Fi. Rest in peace. Oh, look at this. Michael G. Baker. March 11, 1953 to October 8, 2019. Thanks for coming. <laughs> look at how that's worded. It's got little uh, wooden cars on these letters. There's a picture of him. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'm glad I can come here for see you. Rest in peace to Michael. Rest in peace. Charles and Ellen Raper. Together strolling all over heaven. Alright, Charles born September 9th, 1928. Passed away September 1st, 2020. 
loving father of dad and papa. Eileen Ellen, born March 21st, 1935, passed away February 13th, 2021. Loving mother, mom, and mom, mom. Back of everything. Oh, Charles is a, a World War II vet, army. Devoted to God and country. I'll put a both of them. So rest in peace to Charles and Ellen. Oh yeah, by the way, they're married October 20th, 1956. So rest in peace to Charles and Ellen Raper. Rest in peace. Kenneth and Donna Morris. Kenneth born August 6, 1954, July 1st, 2017. Wife Donna, March 29, 1959, December 13, 2020. Both married June 19, 1993. Oh yeah, Kenneth's a U.S. Navy guy. Right on back. Oh, rest in peace to Kenneth and Donna Morris. Oh yeah, let me put this here. Rest in peace. All right, I want you to check out. Now these are two headstones. So check them out. This first one says Cunningham, Slinky the dog. Hoover Ray Jr., born February 10, 1948, passed away April 28, 2022. Parker's Pappy and Mammy. Norma's still here, but check this one out back here. This is Parker Jackson Parker. Born July 12, 2013. He passed away on March 30, 2006. And we love you to infinity and beyond. Check that out. That's Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see what's on the back. Ah, just Woody. The back of Woody. <laughs> right like the wind, bullseye. Alright, if my eyes and the hills were... Does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And rest in peace. Here, let me put a put one there. And I'll put one over here for his grandpa. So rest in peace to Herbert Ray Jr. And rest in peace to Jackson. And ride like the wind. Rest in peace. All right, thank you for joining me today here at the Green Lawn Cemetery here in Milford, Ohio. Take care of yourself, take care of your loans, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.